video I haven't posted in a little while. I've been pretty busy. Um, this is uh, a shorty video um, on hooking up a dugong. It's a D DG2S08020 to the Acorn. Um, basically what I've got is I've got a 24 volt power supply for power to the dugong and I've got a little servo motor there and I've got I had to replace the encoders on the motors to get everything to work all right. This is just a an RJ45 breakout. Um, looks just like a wall jack for a telephone, but it's for RJ45. So I can get uh, step and direction and the logic uh, power to drive connected. Um, here's the Acorn, and I'm using a DB25 breakout board so that I can use the 5 volt signals that the dugong drive uh, requires. Um, there's some, uh, there's an art to tuning servos and uh, at least I've got this one so it's not dithering and rattling and all that stuff and the best way to tune them is right on the machine. So uh, this is, uh, it's a three axis system. It's gonna go on a Phoenix two by two router and uh, after uh, pulling my hair out, figuring out that these uh, the uh, encoders that were on these motors weren't going to work out and replacing them with some good ones. I used Tamagawa's the OH OIH um, what are they? FA coder 35's those are 2000 those are 2000 line encoders um, <clears throat> I was able to get everything to work I'll demonstrate it for you real quick uh, command uh, it's the encoder is a 2000 line encoder and in the dugong uh, servo configurator software I configured uh, times two so it's 4000 counts per rev so in the wizard I've got 4000 steps um, per revolution of the motor configured so uh, and a one to one um, ratio in the wizard uh, let's go out let me just show you that really quick doing this with my phone I thought it might be of interest to let you guys know what I was up to. Let's go into the wizard. Axis configuration. Here you'll see I've got 4,000 steps per rev and overall turns ratio 1. That way when I command 1 inch the motor will turn 1 revolution. Okay, so I'm not going to write those settings. Exit that. Fire up CNC 12 mil. Of course, because I left the software with Acorn powered up, I'll have to do the reset thing. All right, and uh, you'll see X is at zero. I'm going to hit my MDI here. Use the up arrow key to get to my command that I had put in previously. And all I'm going to do is hit cycle start. Let you watch the motor, and there it's turning. I've got it at a feed rate of 10 inches a minute. That's why it's turning kind of slow. And I will go back to my MDI, and I'll command a rapid back to zero. And we'll do a cycle start, and there it goes. So uh, it's nice to see that running. Uh, my buddy Remy. Um, can get his motors mounted and his cables run and start building his cabinet and then I'll head back over there and uh, help him wire things up and hopefully we'll have a small Phoenix 2x2 router running before too long. This has kind of been a filler project for me. I've got lots going on. Uh, in fact, I'll show you real quick. The Supermax is gone and this Klaus and Candia took its place. Um, it's in pretty good shape. It's got uh, Delta 10 Dynapath control on it. It doesn't look too bad, still sporting its original paint. It's got SEM brush, DC brush servos on it. Um, I would really like to put an acorn on it just for the sake of doing it, but it, I would end up having to get some drives that take step and direction in order to drive these motors. And I'm not saying it's not impossible, but I'm not sure that's the right way to go on a machine like this. So. Uh, she might get an all-in-one DC retrofit. That's the right way to go on this one. Um, there's the control. I will probably 
I'm going to try and fire it up and then uh, if everything goes well then I'll part out the control. Use a standard servo dynamics DC brush servo amplifier as you can see them right there. So anyway, that's enough for now. I'm going to talk to you guys soon.